from what I've seen online, people are still not aware of the changes with regards to VMware Workstation Pro as well as Fusion. This is from VMware. They have this FAQs document that talks about VMware's desktop hypervisor portfolio, including VMware Fusion and Workstation. Now, if you don't know what these are, they are desktop hypervisors, which basically is software that allows a physical computer to run multiple virtual machines simultaneously. Fusion and Workstation are examples of that, enabling users to create and manage virtual machines on personal desktops or laptops. So as an example, you could have a Windows 11 laptop that is called a bare metal installation because you're running Windows 11 directly on your laptop. But then you would install VMware Workstation Pro as an example, which is called a hypervisor. It's going to allow you to run multiple virtual machines or guest operating systems directly on Windows. So you would have your hardware, which is your laptop, install Windows on that, you have a hypervisor that allows you to run multiple virtual machines. So you could run various Linux distributions as an example. So you could have Ubuntu, you could have Mint, you could have Kali, Linux, etc. all running as virtual machines on your hypervisor on Windows. Now, this is the big change. What changed with VMware Fusion and Workstation? As of March 2025, the current versions of VMware Fusion Pro and Workstation Pro are available at no charge for all use cases, including personal, educational, and commercial use. Users no longer need to purchase a license for these versions for any scenario. Broadcom will continue releasing updates and security patches, but will no longer sell new support contracts for these versions. So that's fantastic news. You can now use VMware Workstation Pro for free. In the past, you had to use VMware Workstation Player, which was very restricted, didn't support snapshots as an example, but did give you a free option, but a very restricted option. Now you can use the full power of VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Fusion on Windows or your Mac. So Fusion is for a Mac and Workstation Pro is for Windows. What are your thoughts? I think this is fantastic news, but perhaps you don't care. You prefer using VirtualBox as an example. Which is your favorite hypervisor when you have a Windows computer or Mac or Linux? Perhaps it's QMU. Let me know which one you use.